one for. There's no need to spend all that effort on me. I'm not in dire need of food. I am a little hungry. But it's not a big deal. This aroma is... Wow, it's incredible! Fine, since my disciple has put in so much time and effort, I must, with great difficulty, accept. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I never knew that my disciple was this skilled. As your master, I am most comforted. I see that it's no boast to call them Liyue's delicacies. I suppose it wasn't too much to spend all this more on. Ah, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Now that we've eaten and drank our fill, we should be off. If we travel north from here, we should reach the Stone Gate, and from there we will be within the boundaries of Mondstadt. What deep mystery shall we acquire knowledge of? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. That was tiring, but we're finally in Mondstadt. The quest to plumb the wondrous depths of knowledge is indeed arduous. Paimon's not tired. Ugh, that's because you float. Well, it doesn't look like an astrologist is all that amazing either. That's because you have too many unrealistic fantasies about astrology. Are you also resting your feet here? Oh, my brothers and I are all merchants. We just finished doing business in Liyue, and we're preparing to head back to Mondstadt. You look rather tired. The cart we hired will be coming in a while. What say you to coming along for the ride? No need, no need. We're already heading that way anyway. There's no need. Now, shoo, get out of our way. Huh? <laughs> Miss, is there something wrong? Cease your pretensions, bandit. Picking up people on the road who appear vulnerable, robbing them blind once they've gotten on the cart, and then taking them to some Archon forsaken place. Is that your deal? What are you saying? We came over here to make conversation, and this is how we're rewarded? With insults? If you don't want to get on, don't. <laughs> Crazy girl. Well then, shall I tell you now which objects you have on you that are stolen? If you have any quibbles, we can bring people to corroborate what I've said, and all will come to light. If I lose, I'll pay you 20,000 mora. But if I win, then you'll be eating prison rations in Liyue Harbor tonight. How about it? If you're a real legitimate businessman, there's nothing to fear, is there? You... You... You've pushed it too far, brat. I don't know how you found out, but as long as we get rid of you, no one will have to know. Don't fret, it's just a few bandits. You said earlier that there was nothing amazing about astrologists? Well then, this is a good time to show you what your master can do. <laughs> Another test subject. You're finished! <laughs> Let me scrap. Huh! 
stars. There's no end to this. Curses. What did you think? Did that satisfy your expectations? <laughs> Such things are elementary for an astrologist. Lies are worthless before astrology. Destiny and truth are written in the stars. Though it may take more time to garner the specifics, I can read the gist of a situation at a glance. But you did hit some bumps in the road. That's because Tivat's stars can only display the fates and truths of this world. Anything related to you becomes like a fog that even I cannot penetrate. That is why I must meet that successor. With our knowledge combined, I might be able to gain new insight into your fate. <laughs> Whatever the case, you've got everything to gain from this trip. Alright, I'm rested. Let's get this journey to Mondstadt over with. <sighs> if only we had a cart. I thought you weren't tired. Thank <laughs> you. 